We have a GE IAC time over current relay. Uh, here is where you set the amount of time on the trip curve, which actually controls the starting point of the time disk for the shading that gets moved by the shading coil, which is back, back here. This comes from the shading coil coil. Um, you pick the current rating, the ultimate trip current rating, by moving this tap. Come on, focus. Um, right now it's at the 4 amps, but that can go up to 16 amps to connect that to a current transformer. So, just like in a power meter, this disc is moved by 80 currents induced in it. But in this case, all you're doing is measuring, measuring current over time. For example, that would cause wiring to heat. So, if I turn up the current, the disc will start to move. I'm using a resistor bank and a variac. Um, and as the current starts to increase, you'll notice a peg gets closer to the point. Now if I let the current off, it'll start going back with a spring return to its starting point. I have a sudden overcurrent, it may go pretty quick or back off a little bit. Now as soon as that pin touches the contact, this holding unit will get tripped normally it's kind of like a relay, normally be in series with the circuit breaker system at the substation. Right now, powering it with that power supply in the background. And so it has a flag. Normally, when the circuit breaker would trip, the switch in the trip circuit would then open, which we do by opening this power supply. The relay will pop back out again. But you have this tart, what they call a target, to show you that this unit, this unit was what caused the trip. These are, and. Uh, very neat piece of technology, very reliable. I'm not quite sure when this one was made, but hasn't been used in a long time. It lives inside this enclosure. Um, it has a glass front lid. What's neat about this enclosure is that there is a card that you plug into it that I misplaced on my desk somewhere. That it that if you look, these connections here are for the current transformer. So when the card is inserted, it pushes these contacts down. And by pushing these contacts down, I'm trying to get the right angle on here. By pushing those contacts down, it unshorts them from this shorting bar. So it has protection from shorting, or it has protection from overvoltage on your current transformers by shorting them out when you draw out that card. So the whole unit, let me unclip my leads here. Okay, somehow I didn't notice, but the, the card, which they actually make versions of these that bring out test leads for testing, was actually in the box in the bottom, I didn't notice. So that clicks in like so. And you have your lid. And it's it's glass. and gasketed. You fasten it down. It 
and to re reset our fault indicator Conveniently, they have a little button for us, or a lever, so you can just press this right here. And there you go. Type IEC GE overcurrent relay. The back of it. It's very heavy, the whole case is Bakelite and steel. Looks like that, and that's where you make your connections. 5 and 6 are for your CT, 1 and 2 are for the DC breaker trip circuit. Here's another overcurrent relay, kind of as a, I don't want to say honorable mention, but really neat because it's a lot older. I'm not quite sure how old it is. Um, I still have the glass, glass cover for this one as well. There's a sticker on it that says last calibrated in 1962. But from the looks of it, I would estimate that it is several decades older. But you'll notice some similar features. Here's our target. It's white in this case, indicates tripping. This also, oops, I just tripped it with my knuckle. This also, you can set the time length by changing the starting position of the eddy current disk with this lever. And you can change the current tap with this wire. Very similar. Um, this unit also has an instantaneous trip that will trip the unit if it has this current no matter what that works by this plunger being sucked in to this coil based on how it's set. Um, but I won't demonstrate that <laughs> today. But this one is a lot harder to demonstrate with because taking it out of this case is much more involved and I don't want to damage some of the cork seals on it but if I turn up the current on this unit again this one buzzes a little bit we have a similar operational principle there you go this one, this projects through the, oh, whoops. See, the interesting thing is if the circuit breaker doesn't trip correctly, you can't reset this because the current's still flowing through the relay. That's why it's called a hold-in unit.